the most bizarre piece we have in our collection is a jar of chewing gum that we believe uh, some of the pieces inside were chewed by John Dillinger. And it's a, it's a very unusual piece. The story behind it goes, this museum uh, opened up in the 1960s, but the founder for many decades before that worked as a pharmacist. And so this gentleman, uh, Mr. Jess Hurlbit, owned the Owl Drugstore, which was in downtown Tucson. The building is actually still there today. It's obviously changed names many times, but, that, but this building downtown is where uh, his drugstore was. And in the 1930s, in the early, in the early 30s, uh, Mr. Hurlbit was just working at his lunch counter, and he had a group of gentlemen come to dine at his lunch counter for a period of a few days. And so the story goes, one of these gentlemen, he would order his food, pop in a stick of blackjack chewing gum and wait for his food to come out. And then when the food came out, he would just casually stick the gum under the counter, much to the annoyance of our founder, Mr. Hurlbit. And then in 1934, uh, Mr. Hurlbit sees the front page of the newspaper and sees Dillinger captured. It's a famous event in Tucson's history. Dillinger was captured downtown, just a stone's throw away from where Hurlbit's drugstore was. So. Realizing that this is a, a significant event in Tucson's history, and he saw the photo and said, that's the guy who was sticking his gum under my counter. And so being this kind of oddball collector that he was, he went under the counter with a spatula and scraped all the gum off and kept it in a jar. So it's just this very bizarre piece with a great story. It's a local interest piece, um, you know, again, a very famous thing that happened in Tucson uh, many decades ago. Uh, it's. I, but I always make the joke that we are the only museum in the world that has that piece. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's just a very unusual one.